Well, there are two big headlines coming from outer space this week. A giant planet 120 light years from Earth may have signs of life. NASA is analyzing new evidence uncovered by the James Webb Space Telescope that possibly shows the presence of water. The exoplanet K218b has been has some features that can support water on the surface, including an abundance of methane and carbon dioxide in its atmosphere. Well, also today, a NASA panel is recommending the space agency step up its effort to gather information about unidentified and not anomalous <laughs> phenomenon, better known as unidentified flying objects. Well, for more on this, we are joined by someone who is much smarter than me and can help us all put this into layman terms. CTV's science and tech expert, Dan Riskin, always great to chat with you. So let's talk about this uh, exoplanet K218b. What is this all about? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, when Nirvana's uh, album came out, uh, Nevermind, in 1991, we theoretically thought there were probably other planets orbiting other stars, but we'd never seen one. And that wasn't <laughs> that long ago. And now here we are, we know about 5,000 of them. And with James Webb now out in space, we're zooming in on some of the planets that are the most exciting. And this one, uh, K218b, uh, has the potential to be a place where life could exist. And they've found carbon dioxide and they've found methane, and that's very exciting. They also have not seen ammonia, which suggests that there is a liquid ocean on the surface. So that's all pretty exciting. But they also have a faint signal of what looks like it might be hydrogen disulfide. Now, on Earth, you can only get hydrogen disulfide if it's made by living things. It's made by phytoplankton in the ocean. So if that signal is real, and they were gonna get a couple of more looks with the James Webb Space Telescope, if that signal is real, that could potentially be very exciting, hmm. suggesting that maybe there's something going on on that planet that is, if not life, something that needs to be explained. Hmm. I wonder if any of those elements smell like teen spirit. Um, <laughs> Also today, <laughs> NASA smell released... Like rotten eggs, which <laughs> actually is what Teen Spirit does smell like, but go ahead. Or lithium. Uh, <laughs> it, also today, NASA released its findings of a year-long study into UFOs. This always gets, uh, peaks everyone's ears. Yeah, so uh, NASA, basically what they're trying to do is change the conversation. As you mentioned, they've changed it from UFO to UAP in the hopes that giving it a different acronym is gonna take some of the stigma away. What NASA is saying is, look, we've, we've looked at some of these, we've looked at all of them, we can't find any evidence that there are extraterrestrials visiting us, but we have a lot of fuzzy data and we want better data because we want to get this organized. So they're calling on people to record, report and get the best data you possibly can. But they're pointing out that, you know, certain images like this one, which was taken by a fighter jet in the military, looks like some ball moving across the surface of the ocean at hundreds of kilometers an hour and really fits the description of an uh, unexplained uh, anomalous phenomenon we're like, what is that? But when they broke it down in the press conference, they said, you can explain that if there's just a weather balloon sitting still and your fighter jet is flying over it and it's high enough up, it's gonna look like the background is zipping past when really it's sitting still in the sky. And so uh, trying to explain some of these things and debunk them is a big part of what they're doing, but also not to rule out the possibility that there might be visitors from other places hmm. and if there are we need good data so we can identify it for what it is well very much like fox Mulder. uh i want to believe um there it is let's uh let's shift to what happened in mexico they had a an interesting display uh, and i was wondering of what could potentially be non-human life can you put this uh put this in perspective what happened yeah there? Yeah, so basically there was a, a presentation made in, in the Congress in Mexico of a couple of figures from a mine in Peru that are claimed to be aliens from hundreds of years old, hundreds of years ago. Uh, there's a scientific paper from just a couple of years back showing exactly what these things are. And they're actually more impressive than aliens in my books because they really are specimens from 700 to 1,000 years ago where somebody took a bunch of animal parts and made a little alien looking thing. It's actually the, the head is the brain case of a llama and the, the other body parts are various things from different animals. And so who made this and why? But it's definitely uh, terrestrial in origin. It's definitely from Earth, but it's a very weird archaeological phenomenon. And I think much more interesting than trying to argue that it came from space. <laughs> well, CTV science and technology expert Dan Riskin, it's always great to chat and great to see you.